69 of the best artists from the southwestern United States. I just think it's a beautiful show and there's just so much talent. Everything on these walls are, is, is great art, you know. We want to welcome you all to the 30th Annual Texas and Neighbors Regional Art Exhibition. With the 2015 Texas and Neighbors Show, the Irving Art Association continues a tradition of celebrating the best art and artists in the region. Originally, we had almost 500 entries. And we had to whittle it down to 74 pieces of art. So we ended up with 69 artists, and that's what you see here. So but we've got some really nice things. I'm glad we had a lot to choose from, because we got to get the, the cream of the crop in here. All of the work selected this year is visually stunning, and the overall effect is enhanced once again through a partnership with the Chocolate Rose. They're much more than florists but their thing is flowers. And what they do, in, for this exhibit anyway, is they'll pick out a few different paintings and they will develop arrangements to go next to the painting that emphasize the painting, go with the painting, you know, color scheme and design, and they're just amazing. I mean, the, the guys over there at Chocolate Rose are artists every bit as much as the people painting. It's really cool. As the chair of this year's event, Mark Thompson wanted to work with a juror he has long admired. Leanne has been the juror of the very well-known Deep Ellum Arts Festival for the last seven years. Anything that was going on that was kind of artistic down in that area for the foundation I've been involved in. I said, I want that lady. When I found out that I could get her, I said, I want her. Because the Deep Ellum Arts Festival is, is always wonderful. It's always so well done. It's a lot of fun. They have some amazing artists in those in that festival. She does a great job down there, so I thought, hey, let's bring her on board for this year's show here. Leanne's work began months ago when she began selecting the show. Printmaking, beautiful. I want to see something interesting in the composition or the combination of colors or the perspective or a way they've used their medium in a way that's not normally used. Something interesting. I want something to grab me. Whenever it started getting more narrow, like selecting winners, she started looking beyond style and just, you know, how it made her feel, and she started really looking at the principles. Leanne selected 19 awards in five categories. Water media, looking at oil, mixed media, acrylic, and drawing. And she selected the top prizes, which included the Irving Arts Center Award of Excellence. And this year, that award is gonna go to Linda Lucas Hardy. I got weak in the knees and I almost wanted to cry and um, I nearly fell out. Linda's painting was inspired by a photo she took in Tucson, Arizona. This photo was rather large and I cropped in close on it and I saw those cobwebs and I really wanted to do it. The realism is amazing to me. That's a difficult thing to do and she really, really captured it and a lot of unique it's not just a cactus, you know, it's just a chiroscuro feel of it and to see all the little webbing that's in there. I tried all kinds of things. I tried toothpicks, I tried needles, I, tr <laughs> I tried everything I could think of and then finally I just wound up painting them on and it worked. In addition to celebrating very talented artists, the Irving Art Association also celebrated two significant anniversaries. The Irving Art Association is celebrating its 60th year, so we've got a 60th anniversary and a 30th anniversary in the same year. A great way to launch another 60 years of excellent art. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting. <laughs>